Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Quorum Admirals Cup Competition 48. You can see this day date in rose gold and titanium and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high resolution images and naturally full pricing details. On my wrist, 6 and 3rd inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the classic 12-sided dodecagon of the Admiral's Cup is overpowering in its 48 millimeter size. Now that's 48 millimeters across what could be considered the round of this non-round case, but not including the massive crown guard and crown, the watch wears bigger than 48. But at the same time, if you consider other watches in this size class, for instance, watches like the IWC Big Pilots watch, those watches have a broader span from lug to lug. The Big Pilot's watch is about 57, this is about a 54, and it makes all the difference. The reason I'm able to wear this 18 millimeter thick, 48 millimeter, 54 lug to lug watch is because the titanium makes it fairly wearable in spite of the precious metal content, not excessively heavy, but also because the strap, although it does conform to the contour of the case and thus has a risk of flaring out is actually the opposite of what you expect. It juts straight down, curving around your wrist without really curving. You can see it simply drapes itself around the shape of a smaller wrist. So even though my wrist is 16 centimeters, I do believe down to 15 centimeters you'd be able to wear this watch well, simply because the strap was designed with smaller wrists in mind. Again, it just thrusts straight down. It doesn't have that tendency to flare you get on many straps that conform to the case, especially on oversized watch references. Now the strap is beautiful. You can see that the nautical pennant is actually molded into the strap, continuing the theme from the dial. You'll also note that the strap is wonderfully slim and flexible after it exits the molded portion, so it does fit easily underneath the tighter curve of a small wrist, so the soft part of your wrist is met with a very supple and flexible portion of the strap. Now on the underside, again, Corum is a design house if nothing else. You can see the wave motif molded into the underside of the strap. You'll also note that the pin buckle is also in the image of a nautical pennant and is nothing if not overbuilt. Big, bold, satin finished. It has the Corum double key motif engraved into the pin buckle, which is also faceted nicely along its edges. All satin finished. This is anything but a default design. Again, Corum of La Chaux de Fonte is an art house. Many watches like the Admiral's Cup, the Feather, the Rolls Royce, the Coin, speak to the brand's sense of humor and thoughtful design, and innovation and sensibility for innovation that really spans generations at the company, which has only been building watches since 1955, but has an impressive body of work, again, in the art watch scene. You'll note that the dodecagon is recapitulated by the case, the bezel, the sapphire, the dial, and the chapter ring. So visually, the watch has a lot of coherence. Core made a nice decision to place polished rose gold atop a matte blue backdrop. So the emphasis is on the pop of the polished gold. Fully loomed, this is a true sports watch. You can see on the case back, it also has a nice sort of relieved pattern splaying out from the Admiral's Cup logo at center. This allows heat, sweat, moisture, grit to escape the wrist on a hot day. And the watch is 300 meter water resistant with a screw down crown and almost a can't lose type of crown guard that can't help but deflect all but the most critical shots. This is a burly, visually overpowering, I would even say a little bit boisterous and flamboyant design. And here's what I'm going to propose. Again, like a Hublot King Power or Big Bang of similar size and shape, this watch features an ETA base caliber doing business as the Quorum Caliber 947 unidirectional winding. It's a time and day date movement derived from the Valjoux 7750 chronograph, albeit without the chronograph elements. So in that sense, it actually shares its running gear with a lot of Panerai as well. This watch is just as well built as those Hublot and Panerai references. It has just as much wrist presence, and it has the additional refinement of its particular variant of the ETA caliber being chronometer rated. So not only is it burly, but this brute also has some brains in equal measure. A Swiss chronometer, exceptionally precise. Pull the crown out, it does hack the balance 
balance, allowing precise synchronization to a known accurate reference time. It has a 42 hour power reserve that's rapidly energized by efficient unidirectional winding. And of course, you have that discrete day date tandem right at 3 o'clock. So you can always use that practical complication when writing letters, email correspondence, writing checks. Plus, it has a double quick set function for the day date. So should the watch run down or simply encounter an irregular length month, you can rapidly correct it. This is a watch that makes no bones about wanting to be big, bold, and in your face. To its credit, it's also a chronometer, beautifully made, thoughtfully designed, and it looks nothing like a lot of those oversized Me Too designs in this segment. This is a watch from a company that's proud to be sort of a little bit offbeat, low volume, less than 10,000 watches a year. They understand that part of being an an art house means sort of uh, plowing your own furrow, and Quorum's comfortable to take the path less traveled. Are you? You can see and purchase this Quorum Admiral's Cup Competition 48 on our website.